Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful San Blas. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. If you tuned in last week, you joined us as we took a day trip from Panama City to Isla Taboga. Well, this week we are continuing with that island theme here in the stunning San Blas Archipelago. It is a tropical paradise and we cannot wait to show you why. But before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. And make sure to stay to the end where we're gonna give you some tips that we learned throughout our time here. And if you're not familiar with the San Blas Archipelago, Ago. It's located off the northern coast of Panama and is made up of 365 islands and islets, which means you could go to a different island every day for a year and not see the same one. You may also hear it referred to as the Gunayala Archipelago as it's located here in the Gunayala Indigenous Territory, which consists of the archipelago as well as a narrow strip of land on the mainland. And what's really neat about this territory is that the Guna people were the first group in Latin America to gain indigenous autonomy, meaning they self-govern. This means all of their laws and practices are decided amongst themselves based on their own values and interests without any outside influence from the Panamanian government. They rule this land. Their law prohibits outsiders from owning land, which means 100% of the lodgings are locally owned. And you know, when I learned about all this really interesting stuff, I was like, I want to go there. But as I started doing my research, it was kind of confusing as there are a few different ways to visit it and sorry for all the birds this they're very the talkative yes the they ruled this island some choose to explore by sailboat boots <laughs> what are you Canadian what are you talking man? about <laughs> some choose to explore by sailboats other people just do a day trip but if you're like us you're gonna spend a night or two or three, three or, or four. four who knows maybe we'll just stay here forever <laughs> We booked our two night stay with C San Blas. This morning they picked us up from our hotel in Panama City at 5 a.m. The three hour journey took us through some beautiful landscapes. Along the way, we paid the $20 Gunayala border fee before arriving to the port of Carti, where we paid $2 to enter. From there, we hopped on a boat that brought us over here to Isla Aroma, where we registered and were shown to our room. And now we're here. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> If you've been doing any of your own research, then you probably know that this is not a budget destination. It's about $136 per person per night, but that's pretty much including everything. That all-inclusive fee covers your transport, accommodation, meals, island tours, island fees, and snorkeling equipment. The only thing that's not included is alcohol and the border fee that we paid, and the port fee. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for a little tour of this island, but first, the most important thing, check out this water right here. It is so crystal clear, and as you look out into the deeper water, there are so many different shades of blue. It just kind of blows your mind. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I just not to say it, but I said it anyway. I had to get in my beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful on the beach here. The palm trees are just kind of hanging over. People are relaxing in the water reading. It's quiet, and I really think that you will love the vibe here when you come. You can leave, you know, all those distractions at home. Turn your Wi-Fi off because there isn't any here. <laughs> there is phone connection though, so if you have a data plan, it will work here. But we're turning all that off and off and just gonna lay back, relax, and soak this all in. And I hope you do that with us too. The island is not very big, so it only takes around 10 minutes to walk the perimeter, but don't you worry, they pack the beauty in. As we're walking around, we've been noticing some different accommodations. This is not like the one we're staying in here. It actually has a little front porch on it. It looks a little fancy. <laughs> we'll be showing you ours in just a little bit though, so let's keep on going. I'd say that's like rustic fancy and ours is rustic. Rustic fancy and then just rustic. <laughs> and it seems like right now there's only like eight of us on the island. On your first day when you arrive, you just chill. And then on the second, you know, third, fourth days, however long you stay here, that's when you do the island tour. So I believe everyone else who is staying on this island, they're probably out doing their island tour for the day and then they'll come back in the afternoon. But yeah, for right now, it's just so quiet, peaceful. And it's really nice just to chill the first day because our wake up time was quite early. Ooh, I like this little setup right here. The chairs are, they might be missing the back legs and that's why they <laughs> lean them into the sand there. But either way, it looks pretty comfy. I'm gonna go try it out. <laughs> hurry, 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 before anybody sees. Oh yeah, 
the perfect angle. Babe, I'll see you in a little while. We should take those over to our place. We definitely should go. <laughs> they are missing the back legs. <laughs> and as you can see, there are tons of palm trees here. In fact, I think they're the only plant on the island <laughs> and you know what comes with palm trees coconuts so be careful when you're walking around we've been hearing thuds periodically we were in a room before and it was like doo, yeah. doo, doo. so be careful because as Heidi says if it hits you in the head you're dead yeah. <laughs> that's gonna give you a coconut oh that's what Kyle said that's a good one Kyle thanks <laughs> yeah. for sharing that and you're probably wondering about the facilities they are just right here behind us they have showers and toilets like actual toilets and they flush I wasn't expecting that I was expecting just maybe a little hole in the ground I don't know so yeah they have it all here and in the center of the island here they have a volleyball court and a basketball net we saw some guys had a soccer ball so maybe we'll get a little game going on later on and this is also where you are going to find the accommodation so let's go check those out so through our company you could either book you know the shared room or a private room if there are two of you this is what the shared room looks like it doesn't look like they have any sheets on the bed so no one's coming here today now let's go check out our room welcome to our place hut number one <laughs> it's a dream come true i've always wanted my own little hut in paradise <laughs> Inside is very simple. It's just a bed and a couple of tables to put our stuff on. There isn't a mosquito net, so I'm assuming that there aren't mosquitoes here. Fingers Yay. crossed. We'll have to let you know that in the morning. Yeah. But just out front, there are some hammocks you can sit and swing in and just look out at the water. They have a couple covered areas and tables where you can enjoy yourself in the shade. It just feels so good to be away from the city. It's so nice and quiet here, and the vibe is just perfection. Immaculate. Well, I think it's time for lunch. Oh, my favorite time of the day. Well. <laughs> maybe dinner or breakfast they're all my favorite times of the day we just got back from lunch it was actually funny they summoned us i think with a conch shell mm -hmm. it was like, <laughs> it was like, is this land of the flies <laughs> lord of the flies <laughs> yeah also, but the, the land, land of, of the, the flies there were a lot of flies at lunch <laughs> It's true. We had some really nice um, fried fish, mm. came with some rice, some coleslaw, and beans. It was nice. It was basic, but delicious. Yes, it was. And we just actually walked by in the center of the island here. So I was surprised. I want to say this. I was first surprised that there weren't like more guna. I mean, everyone here is guna, but I think I was expecting it to be more of like an immersive experience with them. Like traditionally dressed women and people walking around everywhere. Yeah, but it is. It is and it isn't. You know, sure. in the center here, there are some Guna women and they're traditionally dressed, of course, and they're selling a lot of their handicrafts. And one of the main ones is called the Mola, which we learned about when we were in Panama City. They are so cool. We actually mm -hmm. went to the Mola Museum. Mm -hmm. They are these like pieces of fabric. That they put designs on and they layer them. Mm -hmm. And then they put two of them together and it becomes the front and the back of the blouse. blouse yeah. And it's supposed to ward off evil spirits and bring love. Yeah, there's and... each one has a different meaning but yeah it's steeped in their rich culture and they are just so beautiful so you can purchase some of that you know to for them to give back to the community something we did learn though was it is illegal to take photos of the women that are traditionally dressed without their permission yes as always you want to be very respective of other people's culture and so if you would like a picture just ask, ask just ask yeah and then if you want to take some you know souvenirs home they sell them on the island here and they're probably a better price than you would get in say panama city because yeah. this is where they actually come from yeah well i think it's time to get in that water we've been staring at it all day but it looks so nice yes it sure does so we're gonna change and then run in there so come along and this gentleman back here just told us that these yellow bottles they have to take them to fill them up with fresh water as you can imagine there's no source for it here so all day long you know we've just seen them they are working and maintaining this island for us so we can enjoy it so while you're here make sure to thank them because they are sharing their home with you man today has been so nice yeah. and relaxing but you know what we've been up since 4 30 <laughs> this morning so we're feeling a little tuckered out yeah from just walking around the island <laughs> the not so big island yeah so i'm just gonna hang out on our sand blanket i brought a book to read adam's gonna hop in the hammock and just sway with the breeze in his non-existent hair there's gonna be a lot of swaying and my non-existent hair blowing in the wind. 
<laughs> but yeah, tomorrow we have a big day planned. Actually, we're not really sure what we're doing. I think that's one of the best things and might be hard for some people is letting go of control of knowing or not knowing what's going on. Yeah. No, I'm good with no, it. I'm good. relaxing. But yeah, tomorrow we're going to do whatever they take us. Whatever they show us, we're doing we're it. We're supposed so. to see some islands though, do some yeah. snorkeling. I heard a mention of some paddle boards perhaps. Yeah, that'll be fun. So whatever it is, we'll see you then. Good morning. Oh, what's that sound? You can hear that. That is actually the call for breakfast. After we left you last night, we just relaxed and we really yeah. needed it. We hung out in the hammocks. And then we watched the sunset. We oh, actually it was a good sat, one. sat in some chairs afterwards and watched some Harry Potter. <laughs> Nothing like Harry Potter under the stars. We slept okay. It was a little hot and humid. You don't get that much of a breeze. I'm happy that Adam brought his portable fan. That helped oh, yeah. a lot. It's a lifesaver. But yeah, we are summoned to go get our breakfast so we gotta change quick and get over there and then i think they're coming at 9 30. they are for the fun to start yeah so we'll see you on the boat you can see the boat is just here we're waiting for others to join us and we're gonna hop in and get cruising it is a bit cloudy but hopefully as the day goes on they kind of burn off well you know what comes <laughs> with those clouds a slightly cooler temperature as well yes. yeah that's true and you know breakfast has left a lot to be desired i will say that the food here hasn't been that great but then you got to think of where we are this remote location you know getting fresh stuff keeping fresh stuff out here is probably really hard so i wouldn't come here with very high expectations with the food or the accommodations but what you can expect is it to be absolutely gorgeous so true yeah you come here for the nature and the experience, right? And spending time with Heidi. Yeah! Alright, well let's get on that boat. Check this out. We are at stop number one on Dog Island and I cannot even comprehend <laughs> this water behind me I here. Know. It could be the most beautiful water I've ever seen mm -hmm. in the world. I, I'm speechless about it. <laughs> the ride out here was beautiful. It only took about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. We passed a bunch of other little islands that looked like they'd be great to visit too. Yeah. We saw some sailboats cruising along. Like you mentioned yesterday, that would be a great way to explore here. We're gonna be having lunch at 12. They just took our order. You could have fish or chicken. We can go snorkeling now, explore. And I can't wait to just start relaxing here. Just soak it all in and enjoy this island Man. life, right? It was cloudy when we left and now I'm just so happy. All right, let's get on that beach. I just took a little walk around the island. They got a volleyball court here too, a little place where you can buy some more souvenirs. They also have bathrooms and the kitchen where we're gonna go at 12 o'clock. They also got those noisy birds. They are everywhere. And included with CSUN Blast, they have a paddle board here. So we're gonna get to enjoy paddle boarding. They also provided snorkeling gear. As you can see, we're gonna go out and snorkel and just enjoy it. So, so excited. First things first, let's get in that blue, beautiful water. <laughs> you guys, I just paddled out here a little bit and I know we keep saying it, but this water is just so, so gorgeous. There's some guys coming in, paddling in on a dugout canoe. There's a sailboat behind me here. I saw some flying fish too. That was really neat. It doesn't look like there are a ton of fish in the water here. We have yet to go snorkeling though, so I'm not positive about that. But man, just being able to see the bottom, you know, like 20 feet down as clear as day is something else. This is just really cool. And we are so glad you're here with us. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> you looked so pretty out there and it looks so gorgeous. That was so much fun and now Adam's gonna attempt this. <laughs> this could be funny. I think sitting down is probably the best. Oh. I got it, I got it. <laughs> He's shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put your feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds later and he's already taking a nap. 
<laughs> I need a break. This is hard work. <laughs> I know, it was funny watching me out there. I am definitely an amateur paddleboarder, but I am an expert snorkeler. So why don't you grab your snorkeling mask and head out with us to see what's underwater. Wow, that snorkeling was so good. The wreck is huge. Like I thought it was just a little piece. Yeah. It actually goes maybe 40 or 50 yeah. feet back. There's so much coral on it, both soft and hard and all kinds of fish. Snappers, parrotfish. There were little schools of glassfish inside doing that little spiral. It was Beautiful so- cool. Colorful Beautiful. coral. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was absolutely stunning. We were out there for quite a little bit. We had to come in because the battery on the GoPro died, actually. Battery. <laughs> but we were just saying, like, we would have loved to stay on this island. It's just the swimming is great. You have this wreck, so you could snorkel. Like yesterday, when we were just on the island and we didn't have activities planned, we could have been doing this, like the island we're on. The swimming is just like okay. Well, you when know? you look at it from above with the drone, you can see it's like all rock around yeah. it. So it's not really a place you can swim because you can only get like knee deep in the water. Yeah, and we were wondering like, you know, with Cisan Blast, they put us on that island. Like on this island, is it, are these cabanas owned by another company? Is it like a lottery you just sign up and they're like, okay, one through six is going to this island, yeah. seven through 12 are going to that island. Like we're not really sure how it works, but you could look into it. This is Pedro Chico, Chico, I believe. The little so, dog. Yeah, you could look into that because this is definitely the more like ideal, like tropical island. Like, I mean, just it's so beautiful. incredible. I can yeah. put my head up from the water and I'm like, where am I? Is yeah. this a dream? Yeah. Is it a screensaver on my computer? Yeah, I'm so glad we got to do this. Oh, what is yeah, that? They even got a gym on. I didn't get to do my workout this morning, <laughs> so I'm gonna, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that feels good. It's just cement on the end there. It's just cement. And then there's bigger cement on that one and bigger cement on that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And yeah, these structures here where you can stay on this island, they are like really well built. They have balconies on them. Some have hammocks. They probably have a bathroom on the inside, but I'm guessing they're a bit more pricey. You know, oh, we sure. booked that budget package. So yeah, I guess, like I said, do your research. If you want a bit more luxury, they do offer stuff like that. And what's nice is that even if this island has day trippers coming here on this side, you wouldn't even know they were there. I mean, you look out and there are so many shades of blue just going up into the sky with the white islands kind of floating around it's just a tropical paradise tropical paradise <laughs> yeah. for sure and while we're enjoying this you know we got to dedicate it to our new patrons Lori and rich thank you so much for everything we're so happy to have you a part of this community we are dedicating all of <laughs> yeah. these shades of blue this incredible water the fish under the sea the islands we got to hop on all, all to you, you. <laughs> because you are so generous and we appreciate yes, you yes we hope you're having a wonderful day thanks again and if you would like to join Join our Patreon community. We will put a link in the description below. All right, let's keep enjoying. Let's do it. <laughs> you want a newspaper? Yes, please. <laughs> oh. I was just out on the paddle board and they're like, hey, get in here. It's time for lunch. It's noon. So we are going to head into this little area, get some lunch. And then I believe we are getting back on that boat and heading to another island, maybe snorkeling spot. I'm not too sure. Either way, come along. We can't wait to share the rest of the day with you. We are at our next spot. We just went by some other little islands and we just kind of came to this reef in the middle of the ocean. Yes. Now we're hopping in and we're going to find some beautiful underwater perfection. And what color did we, we're like, it's turquoise. It's it's sea, sea foam. foam. It's, it's <laughs> some sort of incredible blue. Yeah, let's get it. Wow, okay, we are on our third island of the day. This is Isla, Isla Diablo. Diablo. But before we got here, you saw we went snorkeling and... I've scuba dived and snorkeled all over the world. Yeah. It was the clearest water that I have ever experienced. Yeah, one of, I think Sipadan, you okay, know, okay, Raja and Pat, Cosimo. Okay, fine, top five, yeah. top five. Yeah, but stunning, stunning, stunning. We saw rays, they saw sharks, our group. I didn't see them because, you know, they swam away real quick, but yeah, just unbelievable. Then we went to this small little island. It was like a little sandbank. <laughs> I mean, they just kind of pulled two boats up mm -hmm. onto it. They threw in the anchor and it like went into that much water. And then we just kind of laid in there. There was a starfish over there. It was just, yeah, it's so impressive. This is, this is so beautiful. You mm -hmm. know, like, I feel like it's when you see those, it's the Maldives, it's Hawaii. It's one of those places mm -hmm. that 
that you dream of. You've never heard of this place before, yeah. but it is just as beautiful. It's like the Maldives of Panama, you know, yeah. some people would say. And now we're here on Isla Diablo, Devil Island. And you know what they're doing? People are imbibing. The devil has them a little oh, bit. Oh, <laughs> I think we might have to join them. Yes. Have some piña colada. Everyone's drinking a piña colada. And what's really neat is every island has its own vibe. This one, they're playing, what, a game on the TV. People are drinking. The vegetation is gorgeous. There's fruit trees. There's flowers everywhere. Kids are on the swing. I mean, yeah. it's, it's really special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are just going to soak up this last little bit of today. But thank you so much for joining us. Then we're going to go back and... I think relax, take yeah. a nap, have, have something dinner, to eat, watch, watch another sunset. sunset. And then tomorrow, you know, it's one of those things. We don't really know what we're going to get up to, but whatever we do, we hope you'll stick with us. We'll see you then. Good morning and welcome back to our beautiful little island here. It was a nice little night. We slept pretty well. Mm -hmm. it, it, there's like ups and downs. It's like hot yeah. and then it gets <laughs> kind of cold and then it gets hot again. So Well, everything is just kind of a little, little damp too. So you feel a little sticky as well, which we're not used to, you know? Yeah, but that's yeah. island living. Yeah, it was nice this morning. We woke up, we went and had some breakfast and we came back and packed a little bit. They're going to pick us up at nine o'clock to go on our tour. And I believe it's going to be quite similar to yesterday. Yeah, we're going to go to an island, a beautiful island, yeah. do some some great snorkeling, mm -hmm. have some lunch, then they're gonna take us back to the mainland and we should be getting dropped off in Panama City around six or seven o'clock. Yeah, so what's nice is, you know, normally you check out and then they take you back on your checkout day. That's, or you know, like when you're in a hotel, you check out early and you're just done, but here you actually get a half a day experience, which is cool. It is, it's really yeah. nice. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, me too, but anyways. We told you we were gonna give you some tips at the beginning, so throughout our trip, we've kind Essential of been tips. yeah writing some down for you, starting off with... Don't bring too much. Yeah. You are basically <laughs> living in your bathing suits mm -hmm. on the beach. I didn't even bring shoes because you don't yeah. need them. You're just walking around barefoot. Which is so nice. <laughs> it really is. But I mean, if you have to bring your whole bag, you can, but why if you don't need to? We just both brought little backpacks with mm -hmm. us. Yeah, and before you come here, you know, you're probably wondering where we stored our stuff. We stored it in our hotel, so before you come, you can and ask the hotel you're staying in if they have luggage storage. I'm, I'm assuming most of them do because this is a popular tour and people do this all the time. For sure, I mean, if you bring your big bag, it's okay, but there aren't like roads or paved stuff here, right. so you're not gonna be able to drag your yeah. bag along. Yeah, and then a couple things that are imperative. You need to bring towels. They didn't supply towels, so that's for the shower and for the beach, and just so you know, the showers are salt water, no fresh water. The, the, the secret to a salt water shower is as soon as you get out, dry off really quick, so the salt doesn't cake on your skin. <laughs> there you go. Just so you know. And we also recommend like bringing a sand blanket. You know, we, we showed you that in our videos. It's Absolutely. like really nice to have. We're sitting in these chairs here, but they didn't have any sort of seating on the beach here, just some driftwood. So sand blankets are great. Like we take them to the islands yeah. to just hang out. We just kind of set it up for the whole day on yeah. the beach and then we just come back when we wanted to. Also, if you want to bring an eye mask and earplugs, earplugs for the birds in the morning. Yes, the it's, mask it's very sun. quiet at yeah. night, but around 4 a.m. those birds like to get up and start chirping. Mm -hmm. And the first day I would recommend bringing a book, you know, something to do because you are just hanging out, maybe just passing the time. Yeah, it's nice to unwind. Mm -hmm. And when we woke up this morning, well, we talked about the data, like our phone did have service, but then this morning it didn't have any service. So don't Expect come here thinking that you're going to yeah. be able to just be like on your phone and doing stuff or download yeah. something when you get here. Mm -hmm. We heard that the service rotates between different carriers week by week, but we don't really know. Yeah, and then we were able to charge our phones and devices during our meals up at the front. Um, I don't know if every island if you're able to do that, so we recommend like bringing one of those charging banks, those batteries, external batteries. Especially if you're gonna be taking a lot of photos and videos because yeah. you're gonna wanna take these memories home with you. Yes. And then... Ooh, make sure to bring cash because there are no ATMs mm -hmm. anywhere around here. And while, you, while everything is included, if you want to buy extra stuff like sodas, water, or beer, it's about $2 each, at least on our island. Mm -hmm. And you need to bring your original passport. Oh, that's a big one. You do not want to drive three hours yeah. here. And they're like, sorry, you can't come in. When you come to the, you know, when you pay the $20 to enter the territory in the car, you, they look at your passport. So you have to have that, no copies. And then also check in advance if your operator does 
supply snorkeling equipment. Ours essential, did. Essential, essential. And they also had paddle boards for us, mm -hmm. which was like the envy of everybody else. And I'm like, where'd you get that? <laughs> yeah. Can we use that? Yeah. So it, it's a good thing to know if they don't, bring your own snorkeling mask because you are gonna wanna see the beauty underwater here. Mm -hmm. And I think the number one thing is bring water and snacks. Go heavy on the snacks. Yes, we brought about six liters of water between us and I think it was quite perfect. We should have probably drank more, but, yeah. and they don't supply, well, for breakfast, they give you coffee and tea and then the rest of them, you can have like water, cold, beer, whatever, um, but you just get one. And then snacks, they don't sell any snacks, yeah, you know, which we were kind of surprised. Yeah. They don't have chips or anything like mm -hmm. that. So so bring the stuff that you want to eat. There's a lot of downtime, so I like to snack in yeah. my downtime. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah. Also, if you are looking for a five-star luxury experience, this is not going to be it. You know, we want to be really open and honest with you, so when you show up here, you're not completely shy. I mean, it's a rustic experience. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. the beds were comfortable. Yeah. It wasn't like that was the issue, but you are walking around on a sand floor. We told you there were crabs, yeah. like, scurrying yeah. around on the floor of yeah. our room. You can see out the holes, and the, like, our, our door literally has yeah. a slit missing out of the yeah. middle of it. It's what you need, mm -hmm. but don't come here expecting Basics. to, like, at the meals, have a menu to order from. They cooked us a different meal for every meal we had here, which was great, yeah. it was a nice little variety, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna be like, I'll have this, because you're getting what you get. Right, and you know, some of the meals were cold, and, and some, some of the were meals hot. were hot. Some were better than the others, and it's just like, okay, this is what we have, it's what we have, you're grateful for it. Absolutely. But yeah, just don't, I think if you are looking for maybe a luxury experience, you can do a sailboat, maybe. Yeah, sure, and I think some, other islands even some too. of the islands look like they had larger structures on them, and things yeah. that were a little more solid than our they literally have tied together like bamboo and made our huts yeah. out of them which cool. is an experience yeah, in itself absolutely and yesterday we realized that if you're gonna come here we recommend coming at least two nights also don't come here expecting a culturally mm -hmm. immersive experience mm -hmm. this is not a place like that you come here to experience the nature the guna people these are their islands and they live here and they're letting you experience the mm -hmm. beautiful nature that they have yeah they're you're, they're not here to be like this is why i wear this this is what we do this is what you are and like, as much as i would have loved that you know me like i love learning about that stuff but i was kind of thinking it was going to be like that but it it's isn't not and that's their obligation okay. either absolutely and thinking absolutely. back like when we signed up i was like nothing said nothing that. said anything yeah, about it no. i just thought we were going to be going there and that's what it was going to be like yeah, yeah it'd be like we thought you know they lived on these islands at which some do I think 12 live on this island because they take care of it but it's not like the community so just keep that in mind and, and don't take photos of the beautiful women in their mm -hmm. in, in their traditional clothes without asking permission first and then the last thing bring a great attitude be open let go of control and just let everything wash over you <laughs> yeah I mean they, they sort of give you a schedule but it's a loose schedule mm -hmm. they showed up 45 minutes early yesterday to pick us up in the morning so be ready mm -hmm. you know dinner has been at six o'clock every night and then last night it was at seven yeah and everyone showed up at six and they were like twiddling their thumbs, but it's okay. Yeah. Because it was delicious and yeah. we just got to watch a beautiful sunset. Yeah, but yeah, thank you again so, so much. I think that's all the tips that we have for you. We hope it's helpful and you know, when you come here that you're prepared because like I said earlier, it was hard finding a lot of information about this. So and yeah. It would have been nowhere near as much fun if you hadn't been here to share it with. So thank you for enriching our experience for yes. us as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ling, 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 ling the bell. We'll see you next time. Adios.